guess that's everything. Oh, Carol, you forgot your pocketbook. Thank you. Goodbye, Dad. Drive carefully. Remember, college can wait for you. I'll remember. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye. Goodbye. Would you want to see me, Uncle Horace? I've been up to Aunt Clara's room. You haven't been talking to Aunt Clara, have you? No, sir. The hired girl, I mean the maid, said she wasn't feeling so good. That's good. I mean that you weren't talking to Aunt Clara. I want to talk to you myself. You know, Uncle Horace, i kind of been thinking. Yes? Well, what I mean is that sometimes you sort of feel things without nobody saying nothing. Oh, I know Aunt Clara don't take to me. That isn't it at all, sis. That's all right, Uncle Horace. I ain't blaming her none. I know I'm just a country gal, sort of out of place in a big house like this and everything, and I don't want you to think that just because you're my kin folks that you got to keep me here. Sis, you're here because I like you. Well, I like you too, Uncle Horace. Gee, you're about the nicest fellow I ever met. And that's just the reason I don't want to cause no trouble between you and Aunt Clara. Sis, have you ever thought about going to college? College? Sure, what gal ain't? Shucks, I couldn't go to college. Why not? Uncle Horace, do you think I could? Do you reckon they'd take me? Take you, they'll take you, or I'll take back my gymnasium and swimming pool and a few monuments. <coughs> I'll fix it. Long distance, get me State College, Dean Johnson. Yes, sir. Oh, thanks, boss. You want me to take that one, too? No, I'll tote this one myself. Okay. Gee, Uncle Horace, I'm so fidgety, I don't know what I'm doing. I just can't really believe that I am going to college. And I sure do want to thank you for it. You forget about it, sis. If you want to thank me, go up to that college and knock them dead. Make me proud of you. I'm sure going to try. I know you will. Sis, while you're there, you'll need some spending money. Here you are. If you run out, there's more where that came from. Oh, gee, Uncle Horace. I didn't expect this. You know the first thing I'm going to buy me with this? What? I'm going to get myself a pair of them glass shoes. Then I can see my corns as well as hear them. That's a good idea. <laughs> Silly me. For a minute, I thought it was broken. Hello, Professor Colonna. I'm certainly glad to see you. I haven't seen you since the end of term last June. You've changed a lot. Yeah, yes, I've changed a good deal, especially since I was a baby. <laughs> Look, I have the first baby picture ever taken of me right here. That's me when I was six months old. Six months old, but Professor, you've got a mustache. How could you have a mustache when you were six months old? I hadn't learned to shave. Say, Professor, it certainly is good to be going back to college. I had a wonderful time last year. <laughs> ah, college days. Never shall I forget the happy days I spent as a student at Vassar. Vassar? But, Professor, Vassar is a girls' college. It is? No wonder I couldn't find a roommate. <laughs> well, Professor, you'll have to excuse me. I have to make sure the band instruments are on the train. I'll see you later. Go on. Hello, Eileen. Hey, why don't you look where you're going? I've been there, and I'm not interested. Well, Professor Colonna, this is a surprise. How are you? Let's not be morbid. Well, this is my niece, Sis Hopkins. She's attending college this year. I'm sure you'll feel at home. We use your uncle's plumbing. I want to speak to you later. Oh, uh, Professor Colonna's dramatic coach at college. Oh, howdy, Professor. This is her first trip away from home. I'd appreciate it if you'd look after her on the train. I look after all the girls. Really? Yes, and some of them look back. Good. Well, I'll run out and get some magazines. Anything for you, Professor? Yes, you might get me a copy of Esquire. I'm tired of reading. Oh, good. You come from the city, Miss Hopkins? No, me and all my folks is farmers. A worthy calling, my dear. What is more important than scientific agriculture of today? 
You sure do make it sound awful highfalutin, Professor. What was that again? Uh, scientific agriculture. Why, would you believe it? Our school's professor of ornithology is making some wonderful experiments. He succeeded in crossing the canary with the American eagle, and the result, it sings the Star Spangled Banner perfectly. <laughs> Shucks, that ain't nothing. Why, down on the farm, we got ourselves a bird that's half chicken and half parrot. And every time it wants to lay an egg, it don't cackle. It just walks up to you and says, where will I put it, it?" Hey, somebody stole my satchel. You start a crime wave. Oh, there it is. I'll get it up there. Now, how'd it get up there? You should have a convoy for those canoes. Well, hello, Professor. Uh, hello, Professor. Who's your friend? Hoosier is right. What might your name be, sis? Sis. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Matthew Milan? Hello, dear. Phyllis? Oh, hello. Yeah. I guess this is your seat. Oh, I beg your pardon, madame. Is uh, this your baggage? No, I reckon it's my seat. <laughs> oh, but there must be some mistake. This seat's been in our family for years. Why don't you take it for a walk? Oh, the Dean shall hear about this. Professor, who is this Mr. Dean everybody's talking about? Oh, that isn't his name. That's his title. He's the head of the college. You've never been to college before, have you? Gosh, I ain't never been nowhere. Naive little character, aren't you? What do you expect to major in? I didn't get you, Professor. See, what are you going to study? That is, what do you expect to be when you get out of college? Oh, I reckon I'll be an old lady. <laughs> Look, they're taking the station away. to the baggage car if you want to hear some real music. They must be good. Good? Why, they're, they're solid. Shall we go? You think I should? I don't know any of those people. Good time to get acquainted. Come on. Don't you know anybody at college? Oh, I kind of know my cousin Carol a little bit. Carol? Well, that's enough. She knows everybody. I suppose you're going to live at Berkeley Hall with her. I reckon so. May I 